so i had one final round uh, in munich uh, with the whole big team mm-hmm. and uh, i had a mock up interview before that and it really helped me a lot Hello everybody, welcome back to another part of our success video today with Knana, who is a C++ developer. Today we're going to talk about the tech rounds here in Germany and how you get a job as a C++ developer within two months. Knana, welcome back, good to have you. Now we want to talk more on um, your uh, experience, or about your tech experience here in doing the hiring process with companies in Germany. Knana, you have in Germany always some tech rounds. Hmm. They are different compared to the tech rounds in, in India, India, right? Yeah. Maybe just shortly, what is the main difference in your point of view and what is needed for a C++ developer to get a job here in Germany? Uh, all right. So to answer your first question, so the main difference I see in the technical interviews but from India and here is uh, uh, the answer to your question, I mean, uh, the answer to the technical question doesn't need to be, you know, the appropriate one. They are just... Uh, uh, Analyzing on your uh, thinking capacity, like how mm. well you are approaching to the solution. Uh, so it's, they are not expecting the exact solution in the interviews, but uh, no, you have to speak up. Uh, I mean, you have to think aloud. Uh, that's that's the expectations in every interviews. I I I see that. I see that, and uh, also there is no concept of home assignments in India. But here, uh, in most of the interviews, I had this home assignments. Uh, which they which they which they didn't have any timeline but uh, and the expectation from the home assignment is uh, uh, like uh, you know how efficiently your solution works and uh, all the test cases have been covered and what are all the you know corner cases and uh, edges you are uh, fulfilling in your solutions and uh, also the good design And yeah, so well, can you point out maybe some tools that you see that are used here more or are important? Uh, yeah, so uh, I would say that okay, overall in 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 in, in the C plus plus interviews, they they expected me to have a basic knowledge on you know in each areas, mm-hmm. like uh, you should have some basic knowledge on the operating system, the networking part, the communication part, like uh, no communications, it's, it's like the IPC communication, so how your application communicates to the microcontrollers, mm-hmm. the basic knowledge on that, and the micro, the basic knowledge on microcontroller and the processor. So basic knowledge on embedded C. Yes, yes, on the embedded itself. And then when you're digging deep into C++, it could be helpful if you have some you know a lot of practicing um, uh, this codes in the there are many coding platforms the lead code and other stuff hackerang and everything so it could be nice if we have good practice in all these coding platforms and also on uh, the c++ uh, Uh, standards it's mm-hmm. it's always they ask for c plus plus 17 so it's good to know if if we are updated with the c plus plus 17 and above mm-hmm. standards also and uh, yeah so on uh, and, and and also they they uh, they also check on um, uh, your uh, code optimization skill sets also and clean uh, yeah clean yeah. code and uh, how do you test your code so you have to Uh, justify yourself that how well you do your unit testing with your unit testing tools which we use in our projects i used uh, google test framework okay. and then uh, they also check about the static code analysis uh, analyzing tools also which are many so uh, i used uh, uh, coverity but they were asking about this mistra standards and other stuffs so overall they need a basic knowledge on you know all the parts mm-hmm. all the you know uh, uh, as a coder as a c++ developer you should have a basic understanding in all the areas and when when you want to crack you know to the fullest i think you know you should have uh, c++ uh, as your uh, very strong uh, expertise area mm-hmm. so that, that that's and you said something very important here which we see for actually all developers 
um, be transparent, huh? yeah. uh, be able to communicate clearly um, your approach. Um, not it's not only about what you submit, but also how you think. Yeah, yeah. that you can uh, connect the dots yeah. and get the bigger picture of the product and the technology yes. out of it. To what extent uh, would you say helped our program, our mock-up training, yeah. um, to pass these different uh, interview rounds? Uh, okay, so I would uh, I have to say this mock-up interview which I had with the team, Luciana and other team, it really helped me a lot uh, because it's it was not just for the first round uh, itself. I had mock-up interviews for my technical round also. So I had one final round uh, in Munich uh, with the whole big team mm -hmm. and uh, I had a mock-up interview before that and it really helped me a lot. So Luciana was telling me that, you know, uh, even in your uh, lunch breaks or having coffee breaks with them, uh, how efficiently we are able to, you know, communicate with them and uh, putting up your thoughts on the table uh, without any hesitations and other stuffs, and uh, how, um, how good you are with the team. And uh, yeah, so it really helped me a lot. Mock-up interviews was really good. And uh, there are many key points which has to be taken before uh, your, uh, you know, the real interviews from the mock-up. And uh, yeah. Great. So you joined the program and after one and a half months, uh, you got your first offer. You got many invites, you attended many interview processes and now you're here in Germany. Uh, yes. It's so good to have you here. Guys, if you are C++ developer or also some other tech and IT specialist and you are interested to move to Germany, then feel free to get in touch with us. We will check out your profile and see if we can support you. Thank you very much, Knana, and you. hope to see you all soon. Take care. Bye.